welcome my viewers to our next lesson that is our present lesson that is on linear motion lesson 3 therefore we shall be solving a question of 10 marks on linear motion on opposite direction and the question reads my viewer a statue traveling at 90 km per hour left turn A for turn B as mile is length please stop half an hour later a car left turn B for turn A at a speed of y kilometers per hour. The two vehicles met at a point of 180 kilometers from town B at 11 a.m. The question uh, ends there, and the first uh, question to solve is find the value of y, and y we know it is the speed of the car that we jumped at. Therefore, my viewer, we ask you that you don't have that information, we just trace the information in a straight line, we are tracing the two, the distance between the two towns. So there is a Matatu uh, leaving town A for town B. So you have town A, town B there. And this is, a, we, we give it the direction of our, the motion of the Matatu. We summarize the information by Iwa. That is the Matatu, speed of the Matatu we know by Iwa, 90 kilometers per hour. And the difference time of the Matatu is 9 o'clock a.m. That is the information of the matter. The other information it is then a car left town B for town A at a speed of y kilometers per hour. The departure time of the car is we are told it is half an hour later. Half an hour later means it is 30 minutes plus 9 a.m. So the departure time of the car was 9:30 a.m. And this is the car. That is the information. Therefore, we are. Uh, therefore, when we find that uh, one of these vehicles has left earlier than the other, therefore the first thing that we should do, my viewer, it is to calculate the distance traveled by the matatu before the car started the journey. It will be at the at, at, at the time of 30 minutes. So therefore, distance is equal to speed times time is equal to speed of the matatu. It is a 90 kilometer per hour. Multiply by time, it is half an hour later. So the Matatu traveled for 30 minutes before the car started the journey. So multiply by a half an hour. So by two, one by two, 45. So the distance covered by Matatu before the car started the journey is equal to 45 kilometers. Now, so we are saying that that is the 45 kilometers of hour. So the, the, at 9.30 a.m., my viewer, the Matatu was here. And then we are told that from town B, they met at 180 kilometers. So all the way from town B, they met at 180 kilometers, my viewer. So the meeting point is this one. So there is that distance that again the Matatu travel so that they can meet and this is the meeting point of 180 kilometers from town B. If, 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 if that is the distance, we have it. And therefore what we don't have, we just put it down. So distance is equal to 180 kilometers. Time is equal to, we are told that it is from uh, what we should calculate first, it is the time that it, well, we, it took for them to meet, which was from 9 that we are told that they met at 11 a.m. So from 11 a.m. subtract 9 that it took one and a half hour for them to meet, and that is 1.5 hour. 1.5 hours for them to meet. So we have distance, they, they can travel so that they can meet. And we have the time. So what we are solving it is the speed, which is the uh, value of, uh, calculated by y. So therefore, speed is equal to distance over time taken. Is equal to distance of 180 kilometers divided by time taken. Time taken was 1.5. So, uh, kilometer is equal to 180 divided by 
multiplied by 1.5. You get that uh, the speed of the car was 120 km per hour. That is the answer, my viewer. That, that, that's the question that we are to solve and to earn our four marks. This is how we divide by time it took for them to meet 1.5 hours. It's equal to 120. We proceed to part B of the question. We are told, given that the car had a puncture that lasted for 20 minutes to repair, determine which vehicle arrived at its destination first by and by how long. Therefore, what we should ask ourselves is the difference that the Matatu traveled from where it was at 910 to the meeting service. So that we get the time it will take for the, the distance that the car will be required to reach term A uh, will be and that distance is equal to speed times time. Distance is equal to speed. Speed of the Matatu we know is 90 kilometers per hour. Multiplied by time. So time that the Matatu traveled, we are, we are told that it is one and a half hour. Is equal to by hour by hour, 90 multiplied by 1.5. A distance of 135 kilometers. That is 135 kilometers. They are at the meeting point. So the Matatu is here and the car is here. So therefore, we can calculate the time taken by Matatu to reach town B. Time by Matatu. We shall note it as T Matatu. Time is equal to distance over speed is equal to distance. So Matatu it is here, it has to travel 180 kilometers to reach town B. 180 divided by the, uh, the speed of Matatu, which was 90 kilometers per hour. Kilometer by kilometer, you have the time is equal to 180 divided by 90 will give you 2 hours. So, my viewer, time taken by Matatu to reach B was 2 hours. And therefore, we are told uh, given that uh, the car had a puncture that lasted for 20 minutes, determine which vehicle arrived at its destination first by how long. Therefore, we calculate the time taken by the car to reach town A. You are time taken to reach the car by some days will be time is equal to distance over speed. Therefore, distance here over speed. What is the distance? We have to find that, that uh, the other distance that, that the car will be traveling is a distance of 105 kilometers plus a distance of 45 kilometers. 105 plus 45. It will be 100. And 80, 105 plus 45, a distance of 180 kilometers. That is the distance traveled by car. Therefore, we are only required to find the uh, time it took. It equals to distance of 180 kilometers divided by speed of the car. We have found the speed of the car, which was our first part of the question, was 120 kilometers per hour. By kilometer by kilometer, you have to hour. That is 180 divided by 120. So it took 100, one and a half hours for the car to reach town A. But we are told it had a puncture. So it, 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 it did not have a puncture, it, it, uh, there was no puncture case. It would have taken the car one and a half hour to reach town A. But it still there is two, 20 minutes. So therefore, that time taken by the car to reach town A, it should be added to the time that it would have traveled if there was no puncture. So time will be one hour and one and a half hour plus 20 minutes. 
to be so it's a two. One hour and fifty minutes. For the car to reach town A. Let me ask which which vehicle arrived at its destination earlier. So the one that just took less time is it's the car. So the car took one and a half hour by the Masaki took two hours. So it is the master, the car that reached its destination area by and by how long? So it is two hours subtract one hour and fifty minutes, which will be ten minutes. It is the vehicle that arrived at its destination area. It is a car which its destination from a area and by ten. Minutes. We just subtract. The last part of the question, my viewers, it is asked to find the total distance between town A to town B. Therefore, town A to town B, is our distance is divided in these sections. The 45 kilometer that was traveled by Masatu before the car started its journey, and also the distance is traveled by Masatu traveled so that they can meet. And also, where they meet the car that is traveled at, it was at a distance of 180 kilometers from town B. So we are going to add the distance to a one distance two and a distance three. So total distance will be total distance is equal to distance one plus distance two plus distance 3. Distance 1 is equal to a distance of 45 kilometers plus 135 kilometers plus a distance of 180 is equal to 45 plus 135 plus 180. It gives you a distance of 360 kilometers, the distance between town A and town B. That is the answer. And we are done with our linear motion on opposite direction of Kenmark. Thank you for watching my viewer and kindly don't forget to subscribe and my YouTube channel, Teacher Anthony Kimani. And give me a like, give me a comment. And in case you have a question that is or a topic that is disturbing you, you can reach me through my comment section and then you so that uh, I write the topic that you want me to teach here on YouTube and I will give it as the first priority. So, Kendall, thank you again for watching on my YouTube channel.